many squirrels in that short of time? That can't be good. On the table today at Squirrel Stampede, we are back with Beast Labs, one of the most popular items we have run through this fall. We've got the Beast Labs Dino on the table. We enjoyed sharks, we enjoyed big cats, we enjoyed nasty reptiles, and now big dinosaurs, well, just dinosaurs, are on the table. I think this pack's found over at Walmart. Each destination has kind of a different lab thing. You gotta look around. Hopefully you can find the one you would like to experiment on with. But dinosaurs is our final experiment. So join along as we pepper in some squirrels and build up this beast lab before the beast lab builds us. What? Squirrel, Squirrel stampede. stampede. Yeah. All right, so here we are, Beast Lab, Dino Beast Creator on the table looking orange. If you're looking for this one, if I can talk over these guys yelling at me, If you're looking for these, now is probably the best time at video posting time. We're right near the holidays. I'm starting to see these drop in price, running more closer to 50 and 60 versus 70 and 80. It's still a lot to stomach, but what you get is so much, so you kind of have to pay for that. The Dino Beast Creator Lab, most often found over, I believe that this is a Walmart version. You gotta look around for who's got which lab. Big cat, reptile, shark, and dino. Let's get this lab out of the giant box. Ah. There you go, the dino lab. Okay, what are we looking at? One giant 80 plus lights and sounds reaction dino beast lab flask, science lab equipment kit, smaller water flask, instruction manuals, may help you out. There's lots of stages. And inside our beast ingredient pack, All sorts of Rexian things. Like maybe a raptor claw, some vile scorpion venom. The skin clippings always creep me out the most. This one feels very dino-esque. Some pop rocks, but only for your solution, not your mouth. And a pandemonium crystal, most importantly. And today we may be testing our own dinosaur creation as we will be placing squirrels also in the concoction. Perhaps our dinosaur will be more squirrel. All right, uh, ooh, batteries. This thing's a monster, it eats up batteries. Six double A batteries. That means I've gone through 24 batteries now on all the science experiments we've created. Let's load it up. That should do it. Also use this time to remove all packaging straps on various parts. I've clipped them off. They were the tightest I've ever seen everywhere. Uh, Walmart must just be very worried their beasts will escape. So remove all of those straps and you will be set to go. All right, follow along with instruction manual number one, the outer beast experiment. Can't decide who I want to see more, Terror T-Rex or Raging Raptor. There was a debate in the house that we had too many T-Rexes, so maybe the Raptor would be nice. But really, honestly, either one is terrific. All right, we clipped away the ties, but we do need to remove that front cover. How satisfying will this pull be? Not very satisfying. Okay, there we go. I think the only common complaint of this first series is that it's too bad they didn't match the color of the vial with the package. So if this had been an orange liquid, how cool would that have been? And then the sharks with blue, the big cats with, uh, I forgot what color they were arranged with, but yeah, that would have been kind of fun. All right, I believe we are now all set up to begin our experiment. Number one thing to do, flick on the power switch. Batteries installed correctly, right? Love the sound of the fingerprint skinner as it catches our DNA. Uh. Pretty good. Now we'll remove this top, placing for our solutions. I've got a small vial of water filled and ready to go, so let's fill up top. See if I can do this just rightly so. Ah, refreshing. Now, it feels like after doing this four times, you can work at your own pace. Don't let this machine rush you. Enjoy the process. It is a lot of fun. So we have our solution in, and now we can turn the heat dial. 
It's flashing. Usually when it's flashing, it means we can turn the heat dial. So let's give it our first rotation. Okay, some things are bubbling, some things are moving. And we can probably get back down to our fingerprint scanner. Once again, collecting my human DNA to combine into a beast, right? Ugh. Okay, that worked pretty well. Kind of quiet still, quiet on the front. We're gonna start with the fossil fragment. That's number one, the fossil fragment. It's a pretty good one. It's uh, kind of like a, an Alan Grant raptor claw or some other T-Rex tooth, maybe a Mandalorian tooth. Or did I say Mandalorian when I meant to say Megalodon? Yeah, it's gonna work pretty well up top. Oh yeah, that's right. We're going to include though, a species of squirrel here. And this species of squirrel may help out beating, creating our dino squirrel beast. So in they go up top. So right now, poor blueberry I'm is bubbling up into the acid, trying to create our dinosaur friend. How's it going in there, blueberry? I said I'm strawberry. Yeah, that's cool, I like that. Okay, well we're, cooking right away. We're starting the process of cooking. No way indeed close to a bath bomb in any way, of course. Just want to let you know. But it's it's drooling just how we expected it to drool. Look at that go. Okay, we'll let that cook for a while longer. This one feels extra fizzy this time. I'm really hearing a lot of noise up top. And our heat dial is ready to go to the next level. One more time at uh, poor strawberry up there. Wow, that's really, really melting in now. And a little bit of smoke now emerging from the flask. A little bit of mist is filling the studio. <laughs> Fingerprint scanner is a go, and now we're gonna go with some attack serum. Where did the attack serum go? This stuff always really nasty, the scorpion attack serum. And to enhance the serum, we'll add a quokka squirrel to uh, really boil things over. Strawberry is enjoying a nice bubble bath at this point, and we can pour in some of our beautiful, beautiful scorpion power. Get the right amount, make sure you're measuring just the right amount and squeeze like a ketchup bottle as much as you can. And of course, add your quokka. Oh, that is a great chemical combination. And the lab is now indicating to move that heat dial to the three colorize your beast level yellow. <laughs> A little more steam rises up from it. Yeah, getting a little bit smoky in here. Definitely that quokka and uh, squirrel, fox squirrel helps things out. We're gonna look for the skin scrapings. Of course, first getting our fingers scanned in. That always comes about every once in a while. We got our fingers scanned in. Ah, oh, we're getting a lot of more steam in here. It's getting, going to be hard to find the skin scrapings. There they are, yeah. It looks like a clown wig. That's the weirdest skin scraping I've seen yet. We'll get that out. And it's kind of, kind of uh, very flat. It's one of the most unexciting pieces. I love the idea of the skin scrapings. It just doesn't really explode like some of the other things. But maybe if we add a squirrel into the mix, we'll really create a great dino squirrel. So one squirrel and uh, one skin scraping. I'm kind of just dab it in there a little bit off to the side this time. All right guys, hope you're doing well in there. Got to love a good old fashioned lab experiment, right? Well, I think we've done everything we can in stage yellow, colorize your beast. So we'll move the heat dial on over to four, unleash your beast's roar. more steam, a little more mist, a little more creation of beast happening before our very eyes. Oh, it's just streaming out of the lever right now. Look at that. It's just streaming out. That's so cool looking. You wonder why these things cost so much. It's it's the steam, I suppose. Oh, oh. 
Oh, Landry, I could barely see you in there. You're like a horror movie. Uh, the creature from the Squirrel Lagoon. Bum, 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 the Squirrel Lagoon. Oh, okay, we gotta get our, we got our finger fingerprint scanner in. Get that engaged. And we can start uh, figuring out, what are we doing now? We're in Unleash Your Beast's Roar? Ah, oh, the Pop Rocks. Where are the Pop Rocks? There they are. Ah, clever Pop Rocks. Always a helpful tool. And uh, let's see here. Oh, they're everywhere. We'll add a, a squirrel too to, to help those rocks pop, right? I hope there's enough room in here. It's a little tight. Five squirrels is probably your max. So drop in those Pop Rocks and your squirrel and you've got some things happening in there for some reason I can never get the white of this to, to show well on camera it is so bright it just launches off the screen and it's actually it's actually almost overflowing this time I've never overflowed a beast labs before but we just might today hang in there squirrels it's all for science right it's all for science well, we can move that heat dial once again to five red stage. Complete the experiment. Yeah, that's some noise. And we'll get our fingerprint scanned in here in a minute. Oh, look at this stuff. The creature of the Squirrel Lagoon Part Two is in is in uh, in theater right now. Yikes! Woo! <laughs> It's everywhere. It's floating up into my lights again. Oh, I love this part. Always so much fun. And you can do the, the steam experiment several times. Uh, so that's that's worthy. You just kind of have to put your own stuff in. Uh, where's that fingerprint scanner? There it is, over here. So let's get our finger in. Yeah, it just burns a little bit each time, but not that bad. Not that bad at all. So our fingerprint scanner is in. Our last element is the pandemonium. Pand whoa, <laughs> the pandemonium crystals ready to go. So this one is a little more like diamonds or crystals, right? It's a crystal and we will add Landry into the mix to help us out. Say what? There's really not much room in here. I'm, I'm gonna have to jam this right on the side. There we go. You guys good with that? And um, I'll tamp it down with Landry, the all famous scientific tamp down with the squirrel there we go looking good and this is also reacting very much like uh, the chaos claw at the beginning there and now our squirrels are really building something something truly awesome something truly awesome and we are so close so close to overflowing this time but I think we'll be okay now we can to turn the heat dial to the final contain the danger stage Proceed with caution. Okay, here we go. All right, that's going on. Look at the steam now. Woo! Look at it, we've got to place our vial top back on so that the squirrels can do their thing. Oh, look at this thing, wow. There's a lot of steam coming in here. What do you think, Yoshi? This is intense. Ooh, my favorite part. Whoa, look at the, it's just flooding the table with steam. Look at the steam, it's just rolling off the table. Oh, one of the most funnest days here at Squirrel Stampede. Oh, <laughs> oh boy, look at it go. Okay, we gotta pull the lever next, right? We gotta pull this emergency lever. Last time it didn't work very well. We'll hope, we'll hope for the best here. There we go, there we go, the reveal, the reveal. Oh, no way, it's the Rex. It's the Rex. Look at it. Oh, it's so cool. Wow. Is it bigger than normal? It feels bigger than normal. No way, this is incredibly cool. Terror T-Rex, we gotta get the lights down. My favorite part is the heartbeat. The heartbeat. Look at that, so mysterious. There, the Rex beats the Terror T-Rex. I'm happy with it. I, I definitely wanted to see another T-Rex for my T-Rex collection. Let's open her up. We broke the restraint so we can just chop out these clips off to the side. 
And now we can reveal our Rex. Wow. Oops. I didn't spill a little squirrel, did I? That is not so. Okay, let's get the lights back on and wait, I didn't notice this before in the dark. dark. Um, what happened to the back of my Terror T-Rex? Is this the result of what happened with the squirrels in the chemicals? He's got kind of like a flying squirrel back. That's very odd, I did not expect that. Well, let's remove from package. Usually there's little straps here you can either cut or untie. That sound might just annoy any dog within 10 miles. Okay, once all straps are removed, go ahead and look for that back beast latch, which should be directly under your flying squirrel if you have a flying squirrel variant. Uh, there we go, right back here, the beast latch. That will release, thus awakening your Terror T-Rex and or Velociraptor. So if you ever wanted to see what a T-Rex would look like molded with human DNA and a squirrel, you got it right here. Every time I open one of these, I'm just astounded by the amazingness of these creature beasts. The Terror T-Rex stands tall with the squirrel of flight on its back. And again, if you would like some dimensions to consider, they stand approximately 8 inches tall, and their arm span could go up to even 10 inches wide. They're quite clunky, giant dudes with impressive head sculpts, articulation at the shoulder points, elbow points, wrists, and there is a hyperextension punch feature. Pull them back. Might be a little tight at first, and or maybe a flying squirrel on the back restricts. Yeah, he's a little tight right now. We'll get him limbered up over time. Then we've got hips that pin and hinge and knees that hinge. So plenty of points of articulation. Funny, without the T-Rex head, I'd almost say Groot, but it is a T-Rex. And over here we have flight mode option, flying squirrel. Very interesting. That must have been the five different squirrels we melded into the soup. But if you're to look at his back, it's almost like a cape. You've got some Chaos Elemental Shards coming out his back with the uh, pressure button there to activate. So looking good overall this Rex is. Really the most impressive feature of these have been the head sculpts. There's our T-Rex head sculpt a little closer. Yeah, that's definitely a T-Rex feel to it. Checking back at our Panther. They had such great looks to their snarling faces of ferociousness. Our Havoc Hammerhead here, one of my favorites. The Shark, I believe, the start with the shark we did really good looking there and our snake where did snake go cobra commander's favorite friend back here the snake looking just absolutely venomous and let's not forget about their special feature pandemonium core at center chest let's press for our bio linking who will we discover elemental wise uh orange orange could be fire what are the elements again white would be ice orange is fire blue electricity green earth and you can actually cycle through any of those it's just random when they attack sometimes i always often get green which is earth but we're seeing some fire right now and let's see if i can charge another attack here pull this back for a swipe oh he's getting stronger now he's getting much stronger so play around with that to loosen up those joints after being inside the lab for so long. And don't forget Berserker Squirrel Mode where we press this multiple times. Oh, there it is, Berserker Squirrel Mode in red. And he's very, very grouchy. So that is the Terror T-Rex, turned out absolutely ferocious. Don't forget there is also a Velociraptor, a raging raptor who will be just as impressive. One of my favorite things about these Beast Labs, even though there is only two per theme, both surprises are equally awesome. So enjoy what you can find and attack with your Berserker Beast Mode. 
And when finished rexing or velociraptoring, send back home to the beast lab core chamber to rest and come attack us again. Ooh, and don't forget, this one came with a pretty cool accessory piece like a bladed green arm cuff. Just one, some of these come with two, place on arm for extra effects. Nice looking attack you've got there, Terror T-Rex. And of course, you may reactivate the full experiment just by placing back on the vial. Oh, flip over vial, there is a release lever here to fill goo back up. There are refill adventure packs out there available, but I suggest using your own interesting elements like this bot bot donut. And that's the terror of the T-Rex squirrel flyer. What do you think, Beast Labs Dino? If you liked today's video, please give us a squeak, squirrel eye, squamit your favorite Beast Labs kit now that we've gone through dinosaur, shark, big cats, and snakes or reptiles. Those four available right now at launch. What was your favorite? Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget we have merch out like a plush Landry, some t-shirts, water bottle. Again, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for watching. That's what I have to say about that.